Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a review for you today for the Mindshift Gear First Light 40L backpack. And uh, Mindshift Gear is a spin-off company from one of my favorite bag companies and that's Think Tank Photo. Mindshift Gear bags are designed more for active outdoors kind of photographers. Maybe you're on a mountain bike, maybe you're hiking. And this series, the First Light series, is a set of true hiking backpacks for photographers. And they come in three sizes, the 20, 30, and this being the 40 L. And that designates the L as the, the capacity in liters of the bag. So this is a big bag. There's two sizes smaller um, if you're not schlepping around quite as much stuff. But uh, I wanna talk about this bag because I've been putting it to the test on some workshops and I, I really like it if you're looking for a backpack. Roller bags are great, belt systems are great, they each have their own purpose, but a roller bag, while it's great for getting your stuff through the airport, and, and I rely on my think tank roller bags all the time, sometimes you, you don't want to have the wheels, the extra weight of, of that, uh, of the rail, of the, the handle, everything, and if you're out outdoors, that can be cumbersome. So this bag still fits a lot of stuff. It's still going to fit in the overhead bin of most larger airliners, and then the the next size is down will certainly fit in most overhead bins, but this is built more like a true backpack. And to that, I can point to the harness system, which is kind of the biggest difference between this and some other photo bags I've used. In this particular bag, the shoulder straps are fully height adjustable. So there's a Velcro little ladder in here. You can just unvelcro this, and you can just jack this up or lower it down to suit your torso height. And that's really important in getting a comfortable fit and having the load distributed properly. You don't want that load all on your shoulders. You want to be able to transfer some of that weight to your hips. And here's a nice wide hip belt, okay? Uh, it's not as thickly padded as some that I have seen, and that's okay because it's gonna fold down fairly uh, compactly when you're trying to stow this bag. On the back here, the padding, there are deep vents that allow it to breathe when you're walking around this, uh, with this bag in the field. Some more external features. There's side expandable mesh pockets with little drawstrings on them, one on either side. There's also a side pocket, very deep. And this side pocket is designed to hold whatever, but it's designed to hold a water bottle or a camelback. Here is the little uh, little hole in the side, this little, little access point where you can pull the, the uh, drinking tube through, keep your hydration bladder in here if you're doing some serious hiking. So that's nice if you want to be able to carry water with you. Other features of the exterior of this bag, it has a tripod attachment. So there's a little flap right down here. You pull this out and here's the tripod pouch and it also hides a strap. So you can clip that on. And then up top, hidden underneath this little Velcro compartment, there's also another strap. So you can have your tripod attached to the front of the bag. That can be useful sometimes. There are two external pockets in the front flap. One small one on the outside here. And then a much larger and deeper one here. And this pocket is in designed to be able to fit a laptop computer, whether it's by itself or maybe in a really thin protective, you know, just a nylon uh, case or something like that. You could put your laptop in here if you needed to. As with all bags from Mindshift, waterproofing is important. So in addition to being water resistant nylon, you can um, get this little guy. And this is the rain cover. It's completely steam sealed and waterproof. And if it starts to rain on you, you can deploy it. And you've gotta really cinch it around with the draw cord. Now it seems kind of silly that this thing wouldn't be more form fitting, but there's a method to the badness here. And that's because if you completely open this up, then this rain cover can become a waterproof ground pad. So if you wanted to work on wet ground, wet grass, you could put your bag on here like that and work out of it. Now, let's take a look inside. I got this in the largest size because, I think it will be pretty evident here, I wanted to be able to carry 
a big lens in the field. So here is on one side, I've got this configured to hold with a little lens pouch, my 500 F4 VR attached to a Nikon D4. And it's got the little cradle padding right here to keep this thing from jostling around. On the other side, I still have lots of spaces to uh, compartmentalize. I've got a 70 to 200 F4 VR. I've got the 16 to 35 F4. I've got my D810 as a backup body and 24 to 70 all fit in here plus i still got some room left over i've also got all these pouches little compartments on the inside these are mesh uh, pouches so they're breathable you could put cords cables extra batteries extra memory cards whatever right in here and if you don't have a big lens like this then there are lots of dividers that are included with this bag you get a whole bunch of dividers and some of them are the traditional Velcro with nylon covering. Others are the traditional Velcro with padded, so other things can Velcro to this. And then Think Tank, or excuse me, and then Mindshift has thrown in this interesting other kind of divider. It's nylon coated, but it has a Velcro on it right here. So with this guy, all you've got to do is if you want to make another partition in the opposite direction, you just Velcro on another one of those dividers and you can create it that way. So all in all, this is a pretty solid bag. I've used it in the field. I used it on a wildflower workshop up in Crested Butte. I held everything I needed in it and more, uh, usually more. Um, challenge with big bags is to not overpack them. You tend to, to fill them up with stuff, but you can fit everything in here uh, that you need, including uh, accessories and lenses for wildlife and sports photography. You're gonna be able to fit pretty much just about any big lens in here and still have enough space to carry everything else with you. So if you don't mind the weight, um, you can go with this, the 40L. If you don't have the big lens, the 20L and 30L um, are also available, and they're gonna be built more or less exactly the same way, just on a smaller scale. So that's my review of the Mindshift Gear First Light, First Light 40L. Thanks again for joining me. Check out my website, luminescentphoto.com, where I'll have more links to where you can get this. Thanks.